Hey guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week we're making a dragon cake that may or may not be based on a super popular show that may or may not have a season premiere this week. I'm gonna build a two-tiered cake with marble fondant and finish it with an awesome dragon sword. Let's do it! I'm gonna start by breaking down a six inch round vanilla cake with the Slayer. I'm filling this guy with white chocolate buttercream. By the way, if you guys wanna get this recipe, you can click the eye above me or it's in the description box below. Can I have that piece of garbage cake? This isn't garbage cake, this is real cake. You can wait till we cut it. You can take a little bit of this and wipe it on garbage cake. I'll let you do that, that's all you get for right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, one more here. We'll cut the sides, crumb coat them, final coat them. All right, now it's time to start to create the sword that's gonna go into the cake. I'm gonna start with the blade, and I have a big hunk of modeling chocolate here, and it's already been processed, so it's soft. I'm gonna roll it into a carroty thing, because that's what we do on Man About Cake. Roll lots of things into carrots. That feels about long enough. All right, now I'm gonna stab it. All right, I'm just gonna thread this through and try to keep it as even as possible. I like to spin it as I go. It helps you keep it centered. You can feel it in there. Sword baby is about to be born. It's Boom! A boy. It's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I'm putting this on a skewer is so that when I put it into the cake, it will actually stick into the board and my entire piece, which will be the sword, uh, will be sturdy. Now we gotta actually make it a sword because that doesn't look like a sword at all. It looks like a ham bone. Ooh, giant corn dog, thanks. <laughs> it's an albino corn dog. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna trim the top here. So we're flat there. And I'm gonna make a medieval sword. So it's gonna be flat on the back and kind of pointy. And then because I don't want the point on the sword, obviously it's gonna be in the cake. We wanna cut it off. That looks about good. And then we're gonna trim the back off of it. All right, now I'm gonna to try to get my point and get it as flat as possible. And to do this, I'm gonna use some different fondant tools. This will be me showing up to battle. I got my sword, guys! <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> like, who hired that guy? You do know we're gonna kill you, right? <laughs> the ancient art of sword massaging. Now I'm going to retrim the top since I messed it all up. He is looking pretty good. I'm gonna set this aside and let it firm up completely and we'll start working on the dragon head and the wings. <laughs> I'm gonna sculpt a dragon head for the top of the sword. Uh, I've got a little piece of white modeling chocolate. If you guys remember, I sculpted a skull in our manly cake episode. It's kind of the same idea, except for a skull is obviously a skull. So I had the 3D figure here. A dragon is just whatever's in your brain. They're kind of bird-like. Um, dinosaur-y. We're just gonna see what happens. That's my dragon, right? I can make it how I want. That's right, so there it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with a little, get it a little pointy. So we kind of have like a little beak and I will noodle this for like a while. And then we'll do placement of eyes. This always helps me to get the features placed first, like the eyes, nose, the mouth, and then go back in and do all the detail. I'm gonna put the horns in as well. I didn't name the dragon. Go ahead, Brandon. Frank the Tank. <laughs> he can, I, I'll give you that. He can be called Frank the Tank, but just this time. Nothing else is allowed to be called Frank the Tank. All right, the head is a pretty good shape, so now I'm gonna add the horns. I rolled out these little uh, carroty things once again. Starts with lots of carrots. And I'm just gonna put some markings in it. All right, now it's time to make the wings. So to build the wing, we have to actually build a little armature. So I have some wire here that's very bendable and we're just going to snip it 
to create our wing. So we have part of it that'll go into the sword, right? This will be the bend, so see, wing, and then we'll put a piece that comes this way. And I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so I can loop it around. So we'll actually bend it, clip it on here, smash it. So now we've got our armature, and now comes the wing skin. So this is a product called Flex Frost. It's basically like edible uh, fabric. Cool, right? It smells really good. It smells like cupcakes. So I'm gonna cut my wing skin out of this. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher because we're gonna wrap it around the wire. That rhymed. JJ Sprinkles. J that's my rapper name. J that's my DJ name. JJ, JJ, JJ Sprinkles. On the ones and twos. That's my DJ name. That's all I do the whole time. Just the ham horn. DJ Sprinkles. I don't, I don't DJ anything. So then we're gonna cut out our bottom part of our wings here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of piping gel on both the armature and on the edible fabric here. All right, then we'll put it in place and we'll just wrap them around. Don't worry if there's wire showing. These wires here, we're actually gonna cover up with a small piece of modeling chocolate so it kind of looks like his bones. All right, so I'm gonna make one more wing and then we'll put them onto the sword. We're also gonna make some jewels for our cake. I'm gonna do this with some candy melts. I used red candy melts, but then I added a little bit of red food powder as well to get them a little deeper. And then I found this cool mold at a store. It's actually an ice cube tray, but to me, it's a chocolate mold. That's why you always gotta keep your eyes open. You never know. So we're gonna fill these guys with the chocolate. And then once I pop them out, I'll coat them with confectioner's glaze and a little like rubies. All right, so I'm gonna just bang this down to get it completely even. I'll throw it in the freezer and then we'll pop them out. We're gonna cover the cake in white fondant, but we're gonna marble it so it kind of looks like stone. Kind of like this guy, but maybe like a little bit more black. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black gel color to this with a toothpick. So I'm just gonna add some stripes to this. All right, now I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. All right, so I can start to see some color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out and then it will kind of like present itself as we roll it thinner and thinner. A little snow. I'm gonna stack my two tiers with bubble tea straws. This marble is very soft. I'm really strong. I think I busted a blood vessel in my face. This is the tier we made before. All right, now we're gonna airbrush our sword and we'll put our cake together. I'm airbrushing this part because I don't want it to be super streaky. The rest of the stuff I'm gonna paint. Once this coat dries, we'll flip it over and airbrush the back. I'm taking the dowel out of the sword and stabbing it into the cake. Then I slide the sword back on over the dowel. I'm gonna secure the dragon head with a toothpick. Then I'm gonna add the wings, one at a time. Then I'm rolling out a long piece of modeling chocolate for the grip. I'm creating a pommel as well out of modeling chocolate. Then I finish it with a ruby. Now I'm painting everything with gold and confectioner's glaze. Now I'm adding my rubies here and there on the cake. For the final touch, a little confectioner's glaze to make them super shiny. I am all done with my not Game of Thrones cake. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. Don't forget if you want any of the supplies or recipes, click the eye at the top or get them from the description box below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment to tell me what you guys want to see in future episodes. Now I'm going to use my sword. Mm. Oh, hold the door! <laughs>